Hey everyone, I'm Pastor John, and welcome to Story Time with Pastor John. This is for the children all around a simple song and a story. And today's story is Little Mole Finds Hope. Moms and dads and grandparents, big sisters and brothers. This is by Glennis Nellis, and the illustrations are by Sally Garland. We're going to read this book today. First, boys and girls, let's, uh, let's sing a song together. And if you know it, sing along with me. This is called This Little Light of Mine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no. I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. I really like that song, and I hope that that song is a happy song for you. I know it's a happy song for me, and it's so good to be together. Let me clip on my little microphone here so we can, uh, so we can read a story together. And again, this story is about hope. We hope for so many good things in our life. Isn't it great to have hope for things? Talk to your moms and your dads about hope. We'll read Little Mole Finds Hope. It's a cute little mole. They make tunnels in the ground. They're small and they're soft. And let's find out what little mole is discovering. Little mole was sad. He lay in his burrow deep underground and put his head on his paws. Poor little mole. He looks like he's sad. Little Mole, what's wrong? asked Mama. I just don't know, Mama, sniffed Little Mole, but I don't feel so good inside. I'm sad. What you need is hope, Mama said. Hope? What's hope? Where do I find it? Little Mole asked. Come with me, Mama said. As she took hold of Little Mole's paw, Sometimes hope is hiding in the darkness. Sometimes it's hard to see, but it's always there. You just have to find it. Mama's helping little mole. Mama led her son gently out of the darkened burrow up toward the light, but on their way out the tunnel, Mama stopped. See them walking in their tunnel? Do you see this bulb, little mole? She asked. Mama pointed to a bulb squashed in the dark earth. It was brown, wrinkled, and lifeless. It's dead, Mama, said little mole. Do you see the bulb hanging from the roof or the ceiling of the tunnel? Let's find out more. No, my dear, Mama whispered softly, this bulb is not dead. Sometime soon, it will feel the warmth of the sun. It will begin to grow and to push its way out of the deep, cold earth. One day, this bulb will become a beautiful yellow daffodil. Close your eyes, little mole. Can you see it dancing in the wind? Yes, Mama, cried Little Mole. I see it. I see it. That is hope, said Mama. Look at the beautiful daffodils that rise up from the bulb. Little Mole and Mama reached the top of the burrow, and there the sun was shining. Look, Little Mole, Mama said. What do you see? 
Little Mo looked up. He saw woodpeckers sitting in the trees, but the branches were bare. They stretched out like little skeleton bones silhouetted against the sky. They're dead, said Little Mo. See the branches? There are no leaves on them, are there? And can you see the woodpecker? And can you see a bluebird sitting on another limb? Let's find out more. No, my dear, Mama whispered softly. The trees are not dead. One day soon, buds will appear and these branches will be covered with bright green leaves. Close your eyes, little mole. Can you see them dancing in the wind? Yes, Mama, cried little mole. I see them. I see them. That is hope, said Mama. See the beautiful leaves, the colors, dancing in the wind. Little mole looks like he's happy now. As happy as that little bird flying over his head. Little Mole and his mama scurried along the edge of the woods until they came to Mr. Rabbit's garden and old brown flower pot was lying on its side in the sun under the rim. Something small and shriveled was hanging. It's dead, Mama, said Little Mole. Little Mole sees something shriveled hanging from the pot. So does the bird and the snail, they see something hanging from the pot. No, dear, Mama whispered softly, this chrysalis is not dead. One day soon a butterfly grows inside and will burst out from its shell. She will spread her wings and fly free among the flowers. Close your eyes, little mole, said Mama. Can you see her dancing in the wind? Yes, Mama, I see her dancing, I see her dancing. That is hope, said Mama. There's little mole and there's Mama. And there is the beautiful butterfly dancing in the wind. It comes from the chrysalis. Little Mole and his mama went home. I had a wonderful day, mama, said Little Mole. And now I know that there's always hope, even in the darkest places. Little Mole is so happy. He's drinking his chocolate. They're eating their cookies. And he knows there is hope everywhere. Mama smiled as she tucked little Mole into bed, pulling his quilt up over his chin and kissing him good night. Little Mole is very comfortable in his bed. And little Mole closed his eyes and fell asleep dreaming of yellow daffodils and green trees and beautiful butterflies and all of these creatures dancing together in the wind. There's little mole with the green leaves bursting from the tree and the butterfly flying, his friend the bluebird, and the daffodils dancing in the wind. Little mole is so happy. He's found hope. Hope is everywhere. Moms and dads, what a wonderful book to share with your children. Little mole finds hope. I hope you all have a wonderful day. And remember that God's love is always dancing in the wind. God's love and Jesus' love find you every day. Take care. I'll be seeing you soon.